Right. I'm joined here with Chris. Chris, you're the, being the man of positivity this season. Give uh, Ruddy some positivity now. Um, well, all goalies make mistakes, right? Um, he was very unfortunate today. Um, Derby didn't have any real good chances on goal. Um, they put the ball in the mixer and fair play to them. Ruddy's made the mistake and it's dribbled in. Um, it happens, but the boys had the chance to make up for it at the end with two uh, really good chances. Both difficult to convert, but still two chances um, that I'm sure the boys will be regretting now. Uh, you could see Ruddy at the end you know, punching the floor. He's really frustrated. And to be fair to him, he has done really well in recent games, so I'm not going to criticise him at all today. OK, fair enough. I mean, a lot of people were really praising Derby like before the game. I've been one of them people. Today, Chris Martin was out, Darren Bennett was out. It was a massive, massive chance, wasn't it, to, to really sort of make our, our stake on that top two? Yeah, definitely, and I think they played just as bad as Ipswich. They came here, they were playing hoof ball, um, you know, it, it wasn't great. So it's just a shame that we couldn't really convert, but no, it is a disappointment with those two chances at the end, definitely. Were you surprised not to see Alex Neil make some substitutions? I mean, it seemed to me that that game was really crying out for Redmond today. Oh, God, yeah, definitely. We needed width. Uh, we needed some attacking, you know, some oomph. I would have put Hooper on earlier. I would have put Redmond on earlier. But you know what? It was a very cagey game and it was the fine details in that. And we could have committed too early and opened ourselves up for an attack. So, you know, I think Alex Neal did all right today. I would have liked to have seen Redmond come on. You saw Ho Hooper come on at the end yeah. and created a couple of really good chances for himself out of nothing. That's what he does. That's what he's good at. If I was Alex Neal, I would drop Jerome and actually start Hooper yeah. the next game because we need that energy, but also we need that clinicalness. We need that back in the side again because when we create a chance, we need to start putting them away. I think Stephen Whitaker was fantastic today, wasn't he? He's really sort of bounced back from his criticisms earlier on in the season. I, mean, I can remember standing out here with you, sort of really tearing into him. I don't know if he's watching the videos, but he's, he's changed something. He was probably our best defender today, wasn't he? Yeah, definitely. I thought actually today Russell Martin was kind of embarrassing at the back, yeah. really. Um, and Stephen Whitaker, yeah, as you say, Jack, he's been poor this season. But today, he has totally changed his game. He was consistent. He was solid. Um, he was winning headers. He wasn't kind of playing silly balls. He was just playing the simple yeah. balls, you know, just, but also not turning back on ourselves. If you look at Alex Tetty's game today mm -hmm. and Russ Martin's game today, constantly turning and yeah. giving it, we need to be going forwards with the ball, give it out wide. That's how we got success against Ipswich. So, you know. This might be a silly question to ask you, but are we going to get top two this season? Yeah, we can still get top two, um, and we can definitely get playoffs. The kind of the message from today is that we're still in the mix. And that's the important thing. Look at Derby's running. Look at Middlesbrough's running. Look at Bournemouth's running. Look at Brentford's running. Look at Ipswich's running. And Norwich's running looks a lot easier. Um, and I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but a lot of the top teams have got to play each other in the day, and I still think we've got a good chance. Chris, Cheers, Jack.